I'm in the community of Hometown here in North Richland Hills. Now, if you are looking for a great price point and a great location, and you're actually looking for some new construction, this could be a really great option for you. There is some new construction still happening, but if you haven't heard of Hometown, it is, we'll call it right in the middle of everything. It is a mixed use development with townhomes and regular homes, apartment style living, um, businesses, walking areas, um, a great canal, bridge, fishing, ponds, tons of walking trails. I think I said that. But what we like to say is sometimes you just want that little bit of a small town feel right in the middle of the city. And when we're talking about location for North Richland Hills, this could be a good option, especially when you're thinking of needing to be able to commute down into Fort Worth or over into Dallas or, to, you know, you commute a lot and you need to be able to get to the airport. Well, the best part about this location here in North Richland Hills is the fact that your commute isn't going to be crazy long, and yet you still have a much more affordable price point than a lot of the other areas throughout the DFW Metroplex. So thinking of, you know, without traffic, of course, getting over into the Fort Worth area in about 15 minutes or getting into the Dallas area, maybe in about 30 minutes. But of course, really the main freeway that runs along and through North Richland Hills is more towards the south and it runs east and west and it's the 820 freeway. So when you think of the location, um, Colleyville is going to be just to the east of North Richland Hills. You're going to have Keller and kind of South Lake up towards the north part of North Richland Hills. You're going to have Watauga, Watuga, Watauga. Who knows? Everybody pronounces that one differently to the west. And then Fort Worth, uh, Richland Hills, Hearst, Bedford, those types of areas are going to be south. But it's location right here along the 820 and being able to get down into Arlington. Maybe you want to be able to go to the Cowboys games and the Rangers games or Six Flags even. There's so much of that happening in Arlington. And that's going to be pretty much right south of North Richland Hills as, as well. So you really are what we'll call in the heart of the city. There's a lot of things to do. But everything that you could possibly want is right here in North Richland Hills as well. You have plenty of dining options. You have great school. So if you really are particular with the schools that your kids are going to, we do like to look into places like niche.com on how it ranks in affordability, if it's good for families and the type of schools. And North Richland Hills actually gets an overall rating of an A. And mainly the rating is going to be for schools and diversity and maybe an A minus for that it's good for families, but it's still an A. Um, the nightlife, though, they do give it a B plus. So I'm not quite sure what we're really doing for nightlife here here in North Richland Hills, but there is a lot to do, and it's super easy to get to a lot of places. I mean, if you're going to be living up in Prosper, you really kind of have your option of getting into Frisco to go and have things to do. But you can get over to Dallas, you can get up to South Lake, you can get over to Fort Worth, and you have so many options when you're living right here in this particular location. So it is one of the draws when people are asking about some different areas and where to move here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We really do like North Richland Hills. Now, the thing with North Richland Hills as well is the fact that 65% of the people own their homes, but 35% of the people actually rent. So there are some older homes, some smaller home options. So there does seem to be a little bit more of a higher renter population over here in North Richland Hills than there are in some of these other cities. Um, so if that's something that you might be worried about, just kind of something to think about, um, rentals versus owning, but also if you are looking to rent, that could be something that you're looking out that you could be looking into as well, just because of what you can get in terms of the location and the type of home that you might be renting for a short term. And the median income here in North Richland Hills is around $80,000. So I don't know what it is, but every time I go outside, it seems like we're having a tornado going on. I'm going to start investing in some hats, but we are here in hometown and I kind of wanted to walk you through some of the little sections of hometown so that you can get a look of how this community is. So as you can see around me, these are some of the single family homes. They're not attached. They do have rear entry garages and they're all a different color. So I think that they are super cute. So it just gives that little bit of extra character here in some of these neighborhoods and I absolutely love it. And out here too, you get this big, huge green space. So if you have a dog or you have little kids and you want that extra yard, you don't have to take care of it in the back. 
because you have it right here in the front. So absolutely love this little section to be able to see what's going on right outside your front door. And also every single one of these have the cutest little porches. So another thing that I just love, it just really brings in that sense of community where, you know, you get to know your neighbors. Everybody sits outside, especially right now when our weather is fantastic. You just sit outside here with your neighbors and just, you know, you can enjoy your morning coffee or just enjoy the sunset. So another great thing we love here about this particular community of home team. So we're over here in some of this new construction. As you can see, they're building these cute little townhouses right here on the side of me. Hopefully I won't trip over going through all of this construction stuff. But across the street is where we have some of these apartment buildings. So again, just kind of showing you single level homes. You can get these cute little townhomes if you don't necessarily mind sharing a wall with your neighbors. But we have apartment style living here too. So they are building some businesses. Um, there's some office space here, community space here, and just a lot of different mixed use options here in the community of hometown. Okay, so now I'm down on kind of one of the little side streets here. And as you can see, these homes are a little bit smaller, um, not necessarily super small, but they are still single family homes, but I would call them more of like a patio home. Some are two story, some are single level, but same, just that, you know, these cute little tree line streets, all the houses are a different color. So it just kind of gives you an idea of the different type of mixed use that we have here in this particular community where there's a little bit of variation, um, some smaller homes, some bigger homes. And as we go around, um, we'll kind of show you that there are townhouses here. There's some apartment style living, but again, we have some new construction and you can see these cute little fences here too. Um, these nice little kind of smaller wooden fences. I don't know. I think there's just a lot more character. And when we get over here, um, we have these little white picket fences too. I mean, I think that is the absolute cutest thing. I love these types of neighborhoods. You know, not everybody wants to know their neighbors, but I think if you're going to live in a community like this, you have to be friendly. You have to want to get to know your neighbors. You have to be willing to go, you know, borrow a cup of sugar or loan out a cup of sugar and let people know that you live here and you just, want to help each other out because I think I really do think that that's these types of the, these types of communities that people want to be a part of it's not the one where you have those big tall fences and you don't want to get to know anybody you just want to get to know your neighbors and just have like that great sense of community but it is definitely a little bit more affordable over here and you can get a newer home in a super cute neighborhood which is I think one of the bonuses for living here in now there is a pretty wide range of housing and prices of housing here in North Richland Hills as well. Currently, the cheapest home in 2023 in the fall here right now is around $260,000. And that's really only about just over a thousand square feet. You are, you know, looking at maybe three bedrooms, two bathrooms. But knowing that you are really kind of here in the heart of everything, you can actually even get some land. But of course, because of the location, it's going to cost you. There's a five and a half million dollar home. That's the most expensive home currently listed here in North Richland Hills. And that's because it is five and a half acres, but it's only a 2,900 square foot house. So you really are paying for the land and the location. There's also a home on around three acres. It's just over 6,400 square feet. It's beautiful. $2,850,000. So the price points in the location, you are, again, going to pay a premium. But it's just the fact that there really are some variations on what you can get here in North Richland Hills. But here in hometown, if you are looking for a new build, for example, and knowing that you can get it here in this particular part of the Metroplex, you're looking at spending maybe around four to $450,000 on a new construction home. And that is really for just over 2,000 square feet, three bedrooms, two bathrooms but it is newer in a master plan community. As you can see, there's also more new construction still going on here in hometown. So another option, if you're not quite ready to make the move immediately, and you wanna build something, you can still get in and have that opportunity. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about here in North Richland Hills is they have a fantastic community center. The North Richland Hills Center, NRH Center, um, is kind of like your all-in-one community center with aquatics programs and fitness programs. There's a great senior center. 
an event center. So, you know, the budget is the price to go there is actually very, very affordable. And all the activities you can think of, if you want somewhere to go and have, you know, places and things to do for your kids, for teenagers, for young ones, for old ones. And it's just like kind of that all in one. You can get family memberships. You can get senior citizen memberships. You can get youth memberships, adult memberships, and it is very affordable. So somewhere like um, hometown or even one of these older neighborhoods that maybe doesn't have any of the amenities, there's no HOA, no pools, have all of that at the NRA Center. So another great reason to live here. Not only do you have a ton of commercial space, you know, you have your Chick-fil-A's, you have all the grocery stores and the Hobby Lobbies and things that you could need right here in North Richland Hills. So it really is just one of those live, eat, sleep, play areas and anything you could want and find right here within this particular city that has great access to a lot of the places around Dallas. Now we're over here in this, we'll call it the little canal strip, where they have just finished building some David Weekly homes. So right here behind me, this home is three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms for $474,000. Two stories. It is a single family detached home, two levels, which is basically all of these homes right here in this little section. Some people already have them occupied. A few of them are currently sold, but there are still a couple options of a move-in ready home here in this particular community. So you can see the little strip right out here. I mean, another perfect little section if you want to bring your dogs out to go to potty in the morning, but it has this darling little gazebo area up here as well, but just kind of like another little community section, some great little houses. And I don't think I can get over the fact that they're all painted different colors. So do you want blue? Do you want pink? Do you want purple? I would particularly love this darling little yellow one up here. But we also still have some brick and stone work here on some of these houses also. So it just gives a lot of different character here to this particular community. So just different options, different price points, and, you know, just giving you an idea of what you can get for new construction here in North Richland Hill. So people, you know, it's always kind of like, where do I move? Where do I go? Do you have kids? Are you a professional? Do you want to buy your first house? Are you looking for like an upgrade or you're just tired of something old and you want something newer? This could certainly be a fantastic opportunity. But again, another great reason why a lot of people are moving here is because of the affordability factor. And depending on what it is that you're looking for, if you have any questions at all, reach out to us. We are experts here in the DFW area. We want to help you move to the right area so that you don't make the wrong decision. So if you have any questions at all, reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email, and we would be more than happy to walk you through some of these options and how we can help you make that move here to the Dallas, Texas area.